Hi, I'm Greta Binford, a professor of biology at Lewis and Clark College. And in my lab, uh, my students and I study the venom of brown recluse and their relatives. And we're interested in, in better knowing the diversity of the toxin that causes lesions when these spiders bite people. So we travel around the world, we collect species related to the brown recluse, we bring them back, and we, among other things, look at their venom. I have in my hand here a spider that's in the genus Sicarius, which is a uh, very closely related to the brown recluse. Uh, the spider's sleeping. I've, been, I've put it to sleep with carbon dioxide and uh, now I'm going to show you how I collect venom from it. And I'm going to rinse her fangs. Um, try to get some of the sand off. And the, this thing in my left hand is a little vacuum that I've created that I'll put on the spider's mouth. Now I'm going to deliver about 12 volts of electricity through this spider's cephalothorax and that'll cause the, the venom glands to constrict and the venom to come out. It'll also cause the spider to vomit. So this thing in my left hand will capture the vomit so it doesn't contaminate the venom. So now I'm just rinsing the fangs with a little bit of water, making sure that my vomit vacuum is working. There's still a lot of sand on the spider, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna, I have a glass capillary in my right hand. So I'm gonna place right next to the fangs. And I'm gonna step on a foot pedal that will deliver 12 volts of electricity through the spider. And if all works well, you'll see the venom going straight into that tube. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lot of venom going into that glass capillary tube. And, um, wow, that's a lot of venom. You can see all of that is venom that came out of that spider. So we'll take that venom and we'll, um, we'll assay it to make sure that the toxin that causes lesions that we know well from the brown recluse is actually there. And then we're, we're um, getting the gene sequence for that toxin, we're comparing it to this, the toxin in the brown recluse, and that'll help us to better understand the diversity of the toxin and may help us uh, develop treatments that will work worldwide for anyone who's bitten by any species in this group. Okay. Bye. Thanks for watching. For more videos and podcasts, check out sciencefriday.com.